All right, time for another breakdown video. Today I will break down the track Far Off from the album Idol, which you can find on Bandcamp. I will link it down below. Uh, this is the session uh, in Ableton uh, of this track. I won't play the whole thing now. So um, it has in total 20 one tracks the last one is my voiceover and uh, there's a few groups so it's actually 18 different tracks of sound uh, the tempo is 98 bpm and it's written in e minor and as you can see there's a lot of uh, different elements to this track um, starting here on the top with the drums there are one two three four five six seven different drum elements then in blue three different synth parts it's the uh, mini lock xd that i use for this track 13 is a texture created from a room tone and then three piano tracks and then some more synth and sample tracks so i will start breaking it down um, starting with the drums um, i'll mute everything else So the main part uh, he is here, um, if you just play the drums, this is what it sounds like. So this is the kick. Um, The only thing that I added here is the erosion element. So before you have the regular kick, just gives a little bit of noise in the high end. This is combined with the clap. And every fourth clap has a delay on it. and also has a second clap on it and this one has reverb on it then the next element is a chopped up loop that i have created uh, before it's part of my own sample pack so this is from uh, it says tape drums, so they uh, I sampled from vinyl into the MPC 2000 XL, put that onto tape, cassette tape, and then recorded into Ableton. So that's the drum break that I chopped up. Uh, and then here I put a low cut on it. And that combines with a kick and two claps, it sounds like this. So this is just to add a little bit more sort of a percussion and uh, it sounds like a sampled drum rig, uh, which I like. Next element is this reversed kind of noise sample just at the end of two bars and then a ride and this last element is a little click sound with a delay on it So this is only eight bars long. There's an eight bars before with just a kick drum. And then the click continues for another eight bars. And that's all the regular drums in this track. It's very minimal. So moving on to the synth parts. And uh, this first synth part from Minilog XD plays throughout the entire uh, song. And it's just recorded from Minilog XD, there's some EQ on it, but for the rest, nothing. And this is, however, reversed. Then 
what you start hearing. Is a stereo bass arpeggiator, also from the Minilog XD. That fades in, that's this red line, it's the uh, gain of the utility. And it's an arpeggiator of two different notes, G and a C. And then the third element comes in now, so it's much higher. A C, a B, and an A, so together it sounds like this. Together with the drums. So I see a piano texture that's like the transition part between the first and the last part of the track. Uh, it is tuned to an E, so the A part is copied and tuned to an E. And you can also see that the transient uh, settings here are different, so it's a shorter sound. So maybe something to mention as well, like the whole idea of this track was to have something that's more true composed, so it's not uh, repeating too much. Um, so there is basically a first part which you, with the synths, and then from um, the, it says five piano texture, there's a transition to a piano part. So the song is basically two different parts that are flowing from one to the other. So that's kind of the idea behind this track. Um, so that's the synth parts. Moving on to track 13. Um, it also plays for almost the entirety of the song. And it's recorded with the Rode NC G4 shotgun mic. It's a It says room tone, so... It says also free, so what I did here probably is I recorded just the mic in the room without any noise, and then I boosted that and I put some effects on it, then and I froze it and flattened it to audio, um, and then put even more effects on it. So you see this delay, auto pan, and some volume automation. So this is how it sounds. So it's really like a bed in the background of the entire track. If you play that with the sounds, with the with the synths, it fills out the space. And then coming to the piano part, so there are three different piano parts. The first one is a um, some simple motif. Um, I think I use the says grand piano. It could either be the Numa Studio Logic piano or just the Ableton grand piano. So without effects it sounds like this. Glitch, glitchy. And then the effects is mainly the tremolo and the delay. And on, on top of that, there is a piano arpeggio that looks like this. And it's the Laps piano from Spitfire Audio, the soft piano. 
with some reverb on it and some volume automation. And there's one more piano that comes in here and uh, it says Grand Piano, so it's probably also the one from uh, Ableton with some bitrate reduction and down sampling. Sounds like this. There probably was a lot of reverb on and then I froze this to audio. So if you play them all together, it sounds like this. So that's the pianos, um, and then coming to the last part of this track, there is another synth from the Minilog XD, which sounds like this. So this idea of this, the ending of the track is that it becomes more threatening, kind of something you would hear in a movie, with a little bit of a build up, and then the music is gone. So first is this low bass. So the, you hear that the filtering is opening up. This I played live on the Minilog XD and just turned the knobs and recorded it into Ableton. Uh, there are two different clips, so I did chop up. You see that it's longer the original, so I basically took the best parts and yeah, used that. Underneath it, there's a different kind of kick drum, a very low one to get a bit of a drive it's just a sample nothing special and then there's this snare roll it's a uh, 909 sample for some volume automation and then there is this Sound I recorded with the same Rode microphone and put some effects on it and reversed. I don't remember what this was. Could be my voice, could be something else. So together it sounds like this. you hear the end of the piano part and the room tone and then it all fades out so that is the entirety of this track um, yeah that's it so I will now play the entire thing so you can hear and recognize the different parts and um, that was it for today stay tuned for the next one <laughs>